What's left of the 60 million year old snake is its vertebrae. On display is actually a cast of the constrictor from Colombia, and at first it's not that impressive. This is the a single vertebra of a python, um, and a python and many snakes of that sort would have about 275 to 300 of these. So this is a snake that's about this big around, plus some muscles on the back, which would make it a snake about this thick. This is a vertebra from Titanoboa. Same sort of structure, and if you look, you can see they're almost identical. A snake the size of a bus measuring about 43 feet, weighing 2,500 pounds. Dinosaurs became extinct 65 million years ago, so it's living just a few million years after the dinosaurs, um, and probably the dinosaurs having gone extinct, this may have been the largest land vertebrate on Earth at the time. An exciting find for graduate students who are working on various aspects of snake biology. So it includes everything oh. that you I was very excited when I heard that we were getting the cast of Titanoboa um, because I also study geometric morphometrics and having this cast will allow us to photograph it and do a morphological analysis on it ourselves and not have to rely on pictures from publications. Learning more about how the size of the snake correlates to the environment at that time. We actually use the size of this thing as sort of a snake paleothermometer to estimate what the temperature would have been 55 million years ago in Colombia.